All right, what is going down, ladies and gents? It's your boy HCJ here, and we're back with another Black Ops 2 gameplay. This time, it's a really, really up-to-date one. I got this one a couple hours ago. It's on the map Overflow. We are playing Domination Ground War, and believe it or not, I'm using, yes, typical MSMC, but not with a suppressor this time. I decided to switch it up, and I was using the Fast Mags, and I think I was using Quick Draw or Foregrip, one of the two, because I wanted to switch up things. And, of course, I'm using my uh, non-lethal streaks. Uh, what was it? UAV, Count UAV, and Black, but I always forgot for a second because I thought I was using EMP. But, technically, what you're going to see today is a nuclear fail. Yes, a nuclear fail. I was I haven't played this game in ages and when I was playing this game I was so I was actually on the edge of my seat I was actually thinking I'm actually gonna get a nuclear by the uh, opponents I'm playing it was absolutely it was that it was that good uh, it was that good of a feeling and uh, but I ended up going 49 kills to 9 deaths there <sighs> nothing too spectacular but it's decent for me since I don't play the game and unfortunately I didn't get the nuclear because I only showed the first half of this gameplay because this is where all the kills are at um I got 35 kills in the first half and I thought this one was actually like a total rush down in their faces because literally for the session I was playing on Call of Duty today, uh, you know, all I was versing was just quick scopers, uh, regular snipers, just tack insertion guys, that's all I was versing today so I thought okay, they, they were annoying, trust me they were annoying, I was getting some bad negative scores but this was one of the ones that pulled out. I got two more gameplays as well but I didn't record them live in theatre mode, well we know theatre mode, it doesn't like to save anything so I couldn't save those other two gameplays, so and, and I ran out of steam after like about an hour and a half, so I just left it, and uh, I managed to get this one. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this quick gameplay right here. Nuclear fail, MSMC, you know the drill. Um, so yeah, dipping down right into today's commentary. You know, uh, by the time this video is uploaded, the show would have started. But yes, today, guys, is uh, the Xbox reveal. So the Xbox 720 or whatever they're gonna call it. Uh, rumors are the 720. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I've seen Major Nelson talk about it on Twitter. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get hyped for this thing, and literally, I'm hyped for it as well because uh, watching this show, or watching the reveal, wherever I'm going to watch it, uh, it will determine uh, what console the majority of us, the next gen console, will, uh, will uh, determine the, what the next gen console the majority of us are going to get. So, uh, either be PS4 or Xbox 720 or Xbox Infinity or whatever it's called. I'm not too sure. There's been so many names, I just can't keep up right now. But um. Yeah, so, uh, you know, right now PS4 is, it's, it's grabbed my attention, it's really, really grabbed my interest, and it, because I think it's, uh, the, the, the features it's gonna have, it looks interesting, but, uh, you know, it's not all promising, because they could advertise a lot of things, but they could take away features and add on different features, weird features, annoying features, you know, stuff like that. But it all comes down to what the Xbox or Microsoft want to reveal for their 720. And chances are, 9 times out of 10, I'll probably stick with the Microsoft product. Even though, because, you know, back in my day... No, I'm not saying back in my day, I'm not that old. But back when I was younger, I, uh, I was all about PlayStation. So I got the PS1 and the PS2. And then, you know, around 2005, 2006, I switched over to the Xbox 360. Because, not because I was impatient and couldn't wait for the PS3. It's because I wanted to play Gears of War at the time. And uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. On the Xbox, of course, so I bought an Xbox 360, and ever since then, I've been on Xbox 360, so if I swap back to PS4, then that would be a big move. I'm, I'm kind of hesitant of doing that, because, uh, you know, with the whole uh, gaming setup and recording videos thing, I'm not too sure how it would work on the PS4 or something, so I might just probably stick with, uh, you know, the Xbox or the Microsoft products, but we will see, we, we don't know, we will see. But, um, yeah, so I'm interested to know what you guys... Um, so I'm interested to know what you guys are going to get pick up because I know I got a lot of uh, PS3 fans and friends on my Twitter and like you know in real life obviously and I've got my Xbox boys because I've got <laughs> most of the most of the guys I talk to are on Xbox they play Xbox and uh, you know I'm just curious to know what they're going to get but right now not everybody's got a lot of money to spare and you know these consoles are going to go for a high price I reckon they could go for at least 400 to 500 pounds. If they go cheaper, then Jesus Christ, then we are actually fortunate as the public, the general public, to be picking up consoles like this because uh, Xbox can, Xbox and PS, uh, Xbox, Microsoft and Sony, sorry, my, my tongue is so twisted, Microsoft and Sony can lose a lot of money on this because the specs that build these consoles can total over to one, two grand and they're just going to sell them for like 300, 400 pounds because they know the general public just can't afford this stuff. So, you know, let me know in, your, uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys are planning to get. But, you know, also the the, ne the next-gen games as well. Thankfully, some of them are going to be put down or put, yeah, put down to uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 because they know not a lot of people are going to try and uh, fork out a lot of cash to try and get these consoles on the day or this year because I know they're planning to sell these consoles this year. 
but uh, hopefully you know I'm, I'm really pumped for these things and hopefully you guys are as well so uh, yeah with with that being said um, is there anything else to mention Nah, you know I would have done this commentary earlier but I went on a bike ride for like three hours my mom just came in the house with a bike and I went on a bike ride for like three hours and geez Louise bike riding takes a lot of effort if you're gonna do it over the holiday guys do it but just take regular breaks don't do a me and just think you can ride uphill and everything and all that madness but yeah that was going completely off topic I'm just trying to kill time until this video ends but the gameplay is coming to a close because I only showed the first half like I said and just showed the major because uh, the, mo the majority of kills were in the first half and only I only got like uh, 14 kills in the second half so yeah and that was the end of the gameplay guys as we in uh, 200 points to I think they got 117 I'm not too sure I might have to look back at the screen how many yeah okay they got less than 100 points 200 points to 71 my final score line was 49 kills and nine deaths with non-lethals i4 is a pre-beast gameplay but this is just down to you guys i'm just uploading it because i want to this has been your boy hj guys hopefully you guys are enjoying the xbox reveal show and i'll see you guys on the next call of duty black ops 2 video so peace out youtube